All right, y'all. So I did a video like this uh, previously. I'm gonna make sure that this video is a little bit smoother for us. Okay. So we have $7,400 at 10.5% simple interest for one fourth of a year, okay? So all of this is basically the, an important statement. So I'll just underline all of this. Okay, I've read it, I've underlined it now, or highlighted it now. Circle these numbers, 74,000. This is the principal, 10.5%. Okay, this is gonna be the rate. That's an R. It's gonna be simple interest, okay? So the formula for simple interest is I is equal to PRT and the time, this is gonna be the time. All right, it is one fourth years, okay? Now, let's convert Let's convert the um the ten point five percent. So we got ten point five percent. Remember, we have to divide this by one hundred, which means that we're going to move the decimal towards the left, one, two places towards the left, which is going to give us, which will give us point one zero five. All right, so we got point point one zero five. We gotta multiply that by the 7,400, okay? Because remember, it's the interest equals P times the rate times the time, okay? Also, one fourth, okay? One fourth is gonna be 0.25 as a decimal, all right? So let's start doing our evaluation, our math. So we're gonna do 7,400 times. 0 0.105. 5 times 0 is 0. 5 times 0 is 0. 5 times 4 is 20. 5 times 7 is 35. Plus 2 is 37. Okay. This 0 line in the tenth place, in the hundredth place, is going to be all zeros. We're going to need a 0 for the, the thousandth place. A zero for the tenths place. One times zero is zero. One times zero is zero. One times four is four. One times seven is seven. All right. Now let's add these numbers up. Okay. Zero plus zero is going to be zero. Zero plus zero is going to be zero again. Zero plus zero is going to be another zero. Seven plus zero is seven. Three plus four is going to be seven, and then seven plus nothing is going to be seven, okay? Now, how many numbers have to the right of the decimal place? We have one, two, three numbers to the right of the decimal place. So we're gonna move our decimal here towards the left, one, two, three spaces, all right? So we're gonna have $777, okay? $777, but it says that it's in the account for 0.25, okay? So we got to multiply 777 or 777 times 0.25, which is the amount of time it's in there for. Okay, so 777 multiplied by 0.25. 5 times 7 is going to be 35. Carry the 3. 5 times 7 again is going to be 35. Plus 3 is going to be 38. Carry the 3. 5 times 7 is 35. Plus 3, 38. Put a zero for the hundredths place. Two times seven is 14. Carry the one. Two times seven is 14. Plus one is 15. Carry the one. Two times seven is 14. Plus one is going to be 15. All right. Let's add these up. Five plus zero is five. Eight plus four is 12. Carry the one. 1 plus 8 is 9, plus 5 is 14, carry the 1, 1 plus 3 is 4, plus 5 is 9, and then we have, bring the 1 straight down. How many numbers do you have to the right of the decimal place? We have 1, 2, so we're going to move our decimal place towards the right, 
or the left, I mean, one, two. So in a, in a half, of, in a quarter of a year, the interest accrued or the interest gained will be $194.25. All right. Now the total amount in the account will be the $194.25 plus $7,400. Okay. So let's add that up. 7,400 plus 194.25, all right? Let's add these up. Zero plus five is five, zero plus two is two, zero plus four is four, zero plus nine is nine, four plus one is five, bring the seven down. So the total amount of money in the account will be $7,594.25. We evaluated, okay, these are our evaluation steps, and we solved to find the correct answers, all right? Remember, the A is the total amount, and the I is the interest that was gained over that point in time, all right? And the time was a quarter year. Y'all, make sure that y'all are adding things like these into your notes. The simple interest formula is important to add to your notes. All right. Um, A, A being the total amount, I being the interest. Those are important terms to know. So add those to your notes and your math journals. All right. Remember, this is M12. Okay. This is M12 and IXL. Okay. So get more practice there. All right, I'll see y'all later. Thanks for watching.